Hi guys and welcome back. And today we're going to get on and make a couple of trees for the 88 diorama. So I need two trees for the 88 millimeter dio and they'll go towards the back of the diorama just really to frame it up so it'll be pushed hard against the shelf wall there as you can see. And uh, really it's just that front part of the two trees that I want just to thicken things up a little bit and help frame the back of the scene. And by the magic of technology, that's sort of what I'm looking for. A smaller tree to the left-hand side, and then a slightly larger tree, and perhaps a little bit darker too, I think, although that doesn't show in my artist's impression, uh, to fill up the space in the back. And also the right-hand tree is uh, going to be somewhere around where the driver of the Kubelwagen is going for a slash. So why is it cheap? Well, to start with, most of the stuff is very inexpensive. And the first core part of it is uh, the trunk of the tree. So this is a tree in my backyard. I've got no idea what it is, I'm sorry. But it is very green and nice little leaves, which I've sometimes used for scatter when they dry out. But if you come behind it where the light doesn't get, and uh, you've got lots of beautiful branches, and they've got lots of gnarly sort of little trunk-like extensions and tiny little branches that come off from there and I've used this in the past for the Jag Panther diorama a couple of years ago. I just really like the way it looks, gives you a chance to do a little bit of customization so here just breaking off a few bits and bobs to get the basic shape that I'm looking for. Now this isn't one that I actually went ahead and built, this was just one to show you guys the process, but, um, and I'd probably use a little pair of clippers to do this in the normal course of events. From my perspective, it looks like a tree, because, well, it is a tree, and it's a pretty easy starting place. It's also got these little knobbly bits where the other branches were, and they will become really important as we start building it later on. The next thing I'm using is these really cheap, uh, I think they're like wargaming trees, probably 170 second scale or something like that. Uh, I bought a bunch of these when I was doing the Pershing diorama for the Haladonian armor, and I've had a big bag of them sitting around ever since, and I thought I might get some use out of these, so I already paid for them. I think you buy them now, you get 20 in a bag for about eight Aussie dollars so it's almost no real money at all in other countries where the value of your currency is far greater than ours. And the glue that makes all this stick together, literally the glue, is this five second fix and it's a resin liquid that is cured by the UV light and it literally only takes five seconds. I've had mixed experience with organics and plastics being really hard to glue with super glue even and having to hold it in place for a long time and get it or alternatively get it 100% right first time. This stuff gives you the luxury of uh, moving stuff around, getting it perfectly in position and then hitting it with the light for five seconds. Done. I love it. I have um, ordered a bunch more of these because I think I should have lots of them in uh, stock all the time. And I think they will be fantastic for PE as well, which when I get back to, I think, the Matilda, which has got a bit of PE on it, I'll be very keen to give this a run there. In breaking news... Beginners build along, there's been some progress with some parcel delivery. Slowly things are beginning to turn up, a little bit ahead of schedule. And as of today, which I think is the 9th of May, three of the seven parcels have already arrived. Click on the thing above uh, to go through to the beginners build announcement video. So we start off by just chopping off the branches from the cheap old plastic trees.
and then using the resin glue and you could apply it directly with the pen but I felt I had a little bit more control over it by using a little paintbrush and it's like applying super glue it's almost the, exactly the same although you'd ruin your brush if you were using super glue I think uh, this you can just wash out in water afterwards and um, it's quite fine so no drama Now my initial efforts here, and this is the first time I've ever used it, I was applying it like I would normally apply glue to the two ends and then putting them together and then hitting it with the UV light. And that will work, but what I found after a couple of branches was that it was better to put them together and then paint the outsides because this, whilst this cures it between the joints, I don't think it cures it really well. Um, and th these lower ones tended to get knocked off pretty easily as I went up the trunk. But once I started painting the outsides and forming that sort of sheath, if you like, they were really quite solid and uh, held together nicely. And what I also found as I went further along the process was that those little knobbly bits that I talked about earlier, where branches from the real tree had actually come off gave you a really good placement point for the artificial branches and it was very easy to stick them there and even get them on the correct angle that you were looking for. So I just wanted to unify the branches between the organics and the plastic. And I just used Vallejo's Model Air Armour Brown, which is a nice darkish sort of brown. And really wasn't fanatical about coverage either. I didn't want to completely obliterate the organic tones of the tree. But I just really wanted to cover up the paler colours of the plastic parts and the joins. And beyond that, there's probably some bits that are missed as well. I've been a little lazy because the way the die will be situated on the shelf that it's going to be shown on, you'll only ever see the front of the trees. So, And you'll see when we do the spin around, the back of the trees are uh, very scarcely populated with branches. So we're in the home straight now and just time to do a little bit of flocking. So I just use some cheap spray adhesive. It's not uh, very special. I get it on pretty thick as you'll see. It looks like I'm spraying forever and maybe I did. But it gives it, give it a really good coating. It was a little bit windy. Uh, using some fine turf as my flock and just sieving that through pretty generously. Now normally I do this inside and try and save. That's really wasteful. But my bench was an absolute shambles and there was just nowhere else to do it, so sadly. Now this is my little Vegemite jar of Mysterious Flock, which I have had all my modelling life. So for 
at least 40 plus years. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure where I got it from. But uh, I always like to get some of it into a dio somewhere. And for this, it was good just to lighten the tops of the trees. Being careful not to put too much on, uh, just to give it a little bit of tonal variation. And that's it. So we'll just have the traditional spin around for two minutes and I'll come back and say goodbye. So there you go, not overly expensive, fairly simple to do. First time I've ever done it with the UV cured pen and using the plastic, the cheap plastic trees. And look, I'm really happy with the results. Could I do better? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with more practice, I, I think I could do a lot better, but they'll serve the purpose for this dio in, in framing it from a background perspective and really very quick to do as well. Uh, the, the longest amount of time, I guess, is just positioning the branches but I would think, I didn't keep a strict track of it, but I reckon it was under an hour from go to woe for the big tree and maybe under 40 minutes for the smaller tree. So, look, fun, easy to do, and uh, I think a technique that can be improved upon. So, anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves in this horrible time and uh, not going too stir crazy. I've been trying really hard to get a video out every week just to give you something to watch and I know there's heaps of people who are doing that so that's not special it makes me feel like I'm uh, helping a few people which uh, would be good and subscribe if you're not already subscribed don't forget about the beginners build along which uh, will be starting at the end of May uh, like if you liked and as you always know love your comments one of the things that really encourages me to keep on producing is the comments that come through so take care everyone look after yourselves and I'll catch you in the next one